wasn't that bad a thing. It was a shock at the time. You've never really blamed Yoko for the breakup, as a lot no, of people no, no. did, have you? No, I think, you know, at the beginning it was difficult because she was sit in on sessions. And you'd have to try and get your mind around this. You have to think, well, wait a minute. John's in love with this woman. This is not an ordinary relationship. She's not an ordinary woman. You've got to admit that. And if she wants to sit in on the session, it's something that we wouldn't have done. Our girlfriends or wives wouldn't have done that. And it was an, it was an unspoken rule that you wouldn't sit in on a session. But so Yoko was doing it. So I think it created uncomfortable moments. But I, she certainly didn't break the group up. The group was breaking up. And I think she attracted John so much to another way of life that he then went on to do very successfully and had a sort of second part to his career, writing things like Imagine and doing uh, Give Peace a Chance. I don't think he would have done that without Yoko. So you can't blame her.